Okay, good morning everybody and welcome. Um, my name is Ilan and I'm the CEO and co-founder of uh, Seraphic. We offer a disruptive solution for browser security for enterprises. Our company is uh, based in Tel Aviv with offices also in Palo Alto and uh, Munich. We were founded three years ago and uh, we're in stealth mode for about two and a half years and just launched uh, six months ago. We have a team today of about 30 people, already have first uh, customers, a significant uh, pipeline. And as I said, we deal with browser security. So what I'll touch in the next 10 minutes is uh, what is something here, okay. What is browser security and why now? Because browsers have been around for a few decades now, so why it is becoming such a hotspot now? And also, who is playing? Who are the legacy player and the new entrants into this category? And of course, also, how big is the browser security uh, market? So first of all, uh, what is browser security? First of all, a little background. You know that uh, today, uh, web browsers actually dominate the enterprise. Each one of you, each one of us, actually every day, is doing research on uh, public web what we call the internet, and each one of us is accessing, of course, the enterprise application, which can be SaaS application or uh, a, a private application. And uh, this is something that is driven by um, the fact that browsers today became very sophisticated, became kind of an operating system by itself that is enabling actually to run almost any uh, application. And uh, most of the application practically that we use on a daily basis are web-based. And uh, organization are therefore, both employees are moving there and organization are moving there. It's something that is happening at the same time. And organization are moving to web-based application, to SaaS application. So browser became the most used application by employees. I think that uh, each one of us is spending about 80% of his time uh, as employee in browser, which doesn't surprise anybody. So. Obviously, uh, because of this, it shouldn't surprise that browser became also the main risk for businesses because uh, attackers like to be in the place that we are. Yeah, this, is, this is the place to be. And uh, there are actually a uh, few times, uh, a few types of dangers here uh, regarding browser. And uh, this is referring to the definition of browser security. One uh, problem is the problem of how to secure the browser itself and the endpoint when we access uh, websites. Some of them can be infected or malicious websites. How can we protect uh, our browser and endpoint from uh, attacker threats like exploits and uh, phishing and uh, clickjacking and many other web-based attacks? This is one aspect of browser security and the other one is not less important, even more important these days. How can we make sure that as organization, as an enterprise, that when the users are accessing our uh, uh, applications, uh, they do not steal or breach the corporate policy regarding the sensitive data that we have, the IP of the enterprise, and of course, the, 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 the uh, data of the customers, et cetera, et cetera. So these are the two aspects, actually, of browser security. One aspect is the problems of attackers. For it. The other one is of insider. It can be the employees. It can be uh, contractors. Uh, uh, and we want to make sure that they don't misuse or abuse the sensitive data of the corporate. So. Uh, um, what we say is that hackers are very fond of browsers, employees and other stakeholders tend to infringe corporate policy about the way that they, they, they access the data, and enterprises wish to protect both. They want to protect the um, uh, endpoint, and they want, of course, to protect the data of the uh, organization. So browser became the main surface of attack uh, of organizations. Uh, why? So this was why, what is browser security? Why is it so hot today? It's so hot because today businesses are organized according to a new paradigm. It's not like what it used to be in the past that your employees used to be in one location on premise and your data was in a data center, which was a much more simple architecture. Today users are uh, everywhere and they want to access the resources everywhere. Uh, this is the problem and therefore the 
ability to um, uh, secure both the endpoint and the data is relating actually to many use cases, much more complicated use cases, because you want to enable uh, your stakeholder, your employees, to work from home, for instance, and you want to enable them to bring their own devices, which can be, in most cases, unmanaged devices, not secure devices, and you want to enable the organization to move to SaaS application, which means that your data is staying uh, with somebody else. And you want to enable your contractors and uh, also your employees from home to access your internal web application uh, by remotely. And uh, zero trust, which means that, that uh, actually you can't rely anymore on the location. In the past, when the user was on-prem, you could rely on it. But now you know that this is not secure anymore. Existing solution to this complicated uh, uh, problem, to this complicated architecture. Of course, existing many, many existing solutions, but, uh, uh, and these are all these names, EDR, uh, Casby, never mind all of these names, big companies, big market of more than $20 billion today, going to, to uh, more than double in a few years, to 40 to $50 uh, billion. But the existing solutions are uh, forcing on the organization to adapt something which is very complicated, very complex, very uh, costly. And also it's not effective enough because these solutions are not based inside the browser. You want to protect the browser, which is the main access tool to the data of the organization. At the same time, you are outside. You are either in the operating system or you are in the cloud and you try to analyze what is happening, but you don't have enough visibility inside the browser. What Seraphic is offering, is offering actually, is to take it down, this multi-layer, multi-vendor approach. Sometimes many organizations that we talk to, they have about 70 to 100 vendors to one organization that are providing security solution. So what we are offering is to take it down to a solution which is uh, uh, um, uh, deployed into the access tool. Uh, this is the access to the browser. Why not secure the browser inside? And this uh, thing of uh, 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 deploying our solution into the browser is enabling us to convert any browser, we don't care which is the browser, any browser into a secure browser. Um, and uh, how does it work? Uh, the way that it works is that we inject our solution usually, uh, in a normal situation, the incoming code, uh, the JavaScript code, is executed directly with the JavaScript engine. And what we are doing, we just inject our code inside and create kind of an abstraction layer between, in the same way that uh, uh, endpoint solution, we're doing it regarding uh, processes that are managed by the operating system. Because what we say is practically, is that the browser is such a sophisticated environment running so many applications that it's a different environment. And therefore, you need to have a different uh, solution also for the browser. So what is unique is that we are located inside the browser operating with the JavaScript engine. But location is not the only uniqueness. The, the other flaws of the existing solution that they are mostly dependent on detection. They want to do detection. Detection means that you look on something and say, this is suspicious meaning you compare it to a kind of a known pattern. You're saying this is a known pattern of, of uh, uh, unadmitted uh, 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 behavior. So maybe this behavior now is also a, a suspicious one. And uh, here is the problem, because when you try to detect, attackers will always be one step ahead of you, and they will create unknown pattern that you don't know yet. Therefore, many of the existing solution fail. And what we do, we don't try to detect actually, uh, we change the target. We change what is called moving target defend. We change the target in a way that is unexploitable by the attackers. But on top of it, also, we have a unique visibility. So we do both prevention, which is not based on detection, but at the same time, we do independently also detection, which is benefiting from the fact that we are located in the crime scene. We are not trying to analyze traffic that is on the way to the browser, or to analyze system calls from the browser to the endpoint, which is post-execution many times. But we are actually in the time of execution, in runtime, and we try just, uh, we are able to have visibility to things that others do not have. So this is our uniqueness. Of course, this is giving us a unique um, um, advantage. 
and uh, uh, we can offer a technology superiority. At the same time, it is seamless to the user, and uh, also um, uh, uh, frictionless and reducing the cost uh, uh, of the organization. The fact that you offer something like this is creating, obviously, this disruption. And uh, while in the past, uh, organization used to buy endpoint solution and the other, what we call, SASE solution for the cloud, today they are starting to buy this solution and therefore disrupting uh, uh, the existing companies' businesses, especially of those that are giving solution in the cloud. And of course, these uh, players are looking very carefully, tracking very carefully, uh, this blind spot of the browser, which means that they make consideration of buy or build, which is creating, of course, opportunity for us. It's a big market. Today, uh, the, the total addressable market is, of course, dictated by the market that we are disrupting, which is today about 27 billion, and it's increasing to, 20, uh, to 52 billion. Uh, we just launched. We already have 10 customers, 30,000 endpoint, and the business is growing uh, uh, quite uh, rapidly. Last slide is that uh, beside the browser, also we have what we call the hidden browser. Each one of us is using Teams and WhatsApp and Slack and Discord. And these are also can be abused by employees uh, uh, to handle the sensitive data of the organization in an inappropriate way. And the same single code that we offer to browser, we also offer to all of these uh, applications. Thank you.